Hi Scorpio Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March New Moon reading for you. Now the New Moon is a time of new beginnings, okay? It's a time of the slate being wiped clean, and for this lunar cycle, just endless possibilities being open to you, all right? So we're going to see what those possibilities are. We're going to see how the energy of the New Moon is going to be affecting you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting out and you help this small channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. And I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel for your support. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Scorpio how the new moon of March 2019 is going to affect you. Scorpio, new moon, March 2019. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. Scorpio, new moon, March 2019. Scorpio, new moon, March 2019. Scorpio, new moon, March 2019. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we're going to stop there because everything just came tumbling down like Jack and Jill. Okay. We have a water sign which is you, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So you're shining through. You're setting yourself free. You're moving towards your goals. Strong earth sign presence here also, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, moving towards what it is that you desire financially, but also a dark horse coming in, kind of something coming in out of the blue, slowly and steadily moving towards your goals that other people might not believe in. Oh, we have healing, beautiful love here. I love that. That's so beautiful. Okay. Strong Taurus energy shining through. Now this could be in your chart somewhere, all right? Because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. Some of you might be falling in love with a Taurus, all right? Others of you might be falling in love with yourself, where it is that you want to be within your life, and that balance between your emotions and your practicality really coming into play, moving you towards your goal, embracing your desire. And an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. Knowledge being given to you, all right? You're going to be getting insight from the spirit realm that's going to help move you forward. Is there any warnings here? There's warnings here of lies, okay? And you, Scorpio, you guys are not the ones to suffer liars well or fools well, so don't be sharp-tongued with them because that's kind of what this person wants. They want to get a rise out of you. They want to kind of get you off your course and knock you off your game. Don't let that happen. There's a sense of really, during this lunar cycle, being a student of what it is that you desire, taking in the messages from the universe, from the divine that are leading you forward, and really embracing the prosperity that you want. Even if other people think it's ridiculous, you're really seriously looking at where it is that you want to be and what it is that you want to achieve, and doing so with love right at your center. So that is absolutely beautiful. You're setting yourself free. You are that fish that's jumping into the water. Now, I want to let you know that emotions will be running high during this time, okay? So during this new moon, during this lunar cycle, you could really feel that emotions run high and that at times you want to be swept away or people want you to be swept, swept away by your emotions. Don't be. Stay calm, stay centered, stay focused on where it is that you want to be because you're embracing healing, beautiful love. And that healing, beautiful love is something that's shining through once again right here with the Two of Cups. So that healing, beautiful love is at the center of this lunar cycle for you and at the center of this new moon. It's giving you a sense of following what it is that your heart wants, following what it is that your soul desires. You're embracing this healing. You're embracing this prosperity. You have the white on underneath, the white tunic on. Now that's purity of intention, but that's also mourning your past. But I want you to know something right here, right now. Spirit just said it loud and clear. The past is done with. The past is over. You've been through so much already. Don't keep on living it over and over again in your mind. It's as if, you know what? Yes, you've been through it. It's actually shaped your soul and yourself. And now you are moving forward. Because you have to. Because you have to move forward. To embrace what it is that you want. To embrace the love that's coming into your life. The prosperity that's moving you forward. I mean, you don't have to. You do what you what's right for your soul. But my suggestion to you is that you are, are bracing yourself. 
for a huge change. And that huge change is setting you free towards where it is that you want to be, towards what it is that you desire. Helping you embrace the prosperity that you want. Helping you embrace the beauty that you want. You're being a student. You're also going to be getting messages. Messages of, of love from spirit. Messages of freedom to follow your heart. You have this earth sign energy. Now, this is love here. I see love between you and an earth sign. A Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Leaning very steadily towards a Taurus. But this is also... Oh, I'm so sorry. I have the hiccups. This is also saying here that you are falling in love with something that is following the tradition of your soul. Okay? It doesn't have to be anybody else's tradition. But it has to be... It has to resonate with your soul in order for you to move forward in this prosperity. And it's going to be something stable, stable, something secure, something that leads you forward. So you have here the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slowly and steadily embracing your prosperity and moving towards your prosperity. Now this could be also something slowly and steadily evolving with an earth sign. All right, again, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, leaning very much towards the Taurus energy here. But you're also embracing the prosperity that you want. The dark horse is kind of things coming out of the blue. Not really knowing, not really being sure of how things are going to move forward. Embracing the prosperity that you want and seeing things come about the way that you desire it. Also, insights are going to be coming to you at night about your prosperity. About the way you want to embrace your wealth, your joy, where it is that you want to be. That's really going to start to come to you at nighttime. At the nighttime. And it's going to be clearest in your mind when you first wake up. So I would suggest having a little notebook by you, okay? Because the first thought that you have in the morning, I know this sounds odd, but it's going to be very, very important for you, Scorpio. It's going to be some ideas that you start getting rolling, you know, some way that you start really just embracing the prosperity that's coming. So those ideas are really going to help you and add clarity to situations. It's going to be different situations for each and every one of you. But listen to that knowledge. All right? And then you have the Two of Cups, which I adore. This is healing, beautiful love coming in. This is a soulmate connection. Now, remember, soulmate connections don't have to be romantic relationships. So for some of you, this is going to be a business partner. This is going to be somebody who helps you move forward in the prosperity that you want, be it wealth or something you value as much as money. For others of you, this is going to be a love relationship, okay? But this is saying here that you are healing, that the angels are blessing you, that you know the fragility of love, okay? And you know that that first bloom of love is the sweetest where you two really just start to fall for each other and you're embracing that energy. Now, either it is in falling in love with another person, but this could also be falling in love with yourself. Very much so, Scorpio. As you are setting yourself free, as you are embracing healing, as you are you know, kind of letting your emotions show, letting yourself go after what it is that you want, moving forward in your prosperity, you're having this love come in. And this love is moving you forward towards where it is that you want to be, towards what it is that you desire. And you're holding on to it. Now this could be romantic love, this could be friendship love, this could be family love. Okay, it's just love that heals you. And because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. You have here the Hierophant, which represents a Taurus, which plays to the earth sign energy here. But this is also moving forward in your tradition. This is a level of stability that's wanted, that you start to achieve. Stability, security, prosperity is what I see here. Now, Taliesin is a famous, famous bard hero in Celtic mythology, but he was never supposed to be because he starts off as a lowly servant boy who has no future, no nothing, right? And his whole life changes. So what this is telling me to tell you with that story because I'm not going to go into the whole big long thing because Lord knows I've said it enough. You guys are probably tired of hearing it. But what I'm seeing here is that the trajectory of your path is going to lead you to where you want to be, to you living in your success, in your prosperity, to you being known. Now, it doesn't mean movie star famous. It means you being known for doing what it is that sets your soul on fire, that, set, that, that you love, okay? Whether 
five million people know your name or five people know your name. It is you being happy, content, and prosperous in what you're doing. But it's taking you down a road that you hadn't thought that you would walk and in a way that you hadn't thought that you would go about it. So it's kind of taking twists and turns that you hadn't expected. That's how you're going to get there. Okay? So stay true to yourself. Stay true to what it means to be you as you embrace what it is that you want. Because there are going to be twists and turns along the way that you haven't expected, that you hadn't wanted all the time. Okay? But that are going to be kind of the best things for you. You're going to be getting messages from the spirit realm. Listen to them. There's also going to be somebody who tries to give you a message that's a bit sneaky. All right? Keep your connection open with spirit because that's how you're going to know about it. Now, it could be with this. Now, it's with an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. Okay? Or somebody who's just trying to manipulate your mind. You will be aware of it, but keep your eyes open. Your subconscious message here is the hangman. The hangman is saying at times, especially during this new moon, you're going to feel as if you're caught between two worlds. You can see both sides of the stories really well, but you're also taking on a whole new perspective because in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is a man hanging upside down from a, from a tree. Okay. He's physically seeing the world differently. Here we have a man caught between the fairy realm and the earthly plane. You will be getting messages from the fairy realm, um, from the spiritual realm. Okay. So through your courage, through your understanding, you're going to use that knowledge to make the best decisions possible for you, to embrace your healing love, and they're going to set you free, moving forward in your prosperity. All right, Scorpio, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving this video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'll be reading for you all really soon. Bye.